this is my attempt at making a glow lichen farm and I do say my attempt because I have not watched any tutorials if there are any tutorials on YouTube on how to make a glow lichen farm you will probably see me make multiple attempts I don't know this is the first one we'll see how this one goes first and it did not okay so that thought wasn't going to work um, I don't know what I was thinking. So I guess you could say this is kind of like attempt number two because attempt number one, I put all the blocks in all the wrong places and then that should not connect. Putting it on top. There we go. Nope. And that is not working. No. Nope. And no. I am such a goofball because that is too high. What, did I have my redstone wrong? So after a few failed attempts at trying to create this farm using redstone, dispensers, and mechanics like that, I have come to conclusion so far that you, you're you going to have to use a pair of shears. No line was cut, no whale was freed, the captain's mind was not on greed, but he belonged to the whaleman's creed, she took that ship in tow. Soon may Hello everybody, Imagine That Gaming, and today I'm bringing you my very first Redstone Farm tutorial build. I built this design on my own, trying to work a few things out. I'm really happy with how it works. Uh, there's a few that are similar I found online, um, but I really like the way this is set up. I think it's just perfect. It gives a lot of glow lichen very fast, and there's actually a few uses for glow lichen that a lot of people aren't aware of. And I want to show you those uses first, and that way you might see why you might need to stock up on some. Let me show you first some of the changes that have happened, I believe, since 119 in the way that it, it grows. It used to be, um, I'm trying to remember what the change was. I had this set up before uh, one, I had this set up weeks ago, so I can't quite remember. Hey, get, get out of my video. Get, go anyways um so it used to be when you use the shears or you would break like here like depending upon where you're breaking it at it will break just that but if you have something like this where you're digging in it will break all those right there i'm in creative i guess i should let me switch out of creative to see what that does exactly real quick okay so in survival let's see what happens Okay, so it gave us one, two, three, it gave us, yeah, four, five, so it gave us all five. So, I haven't changed my farm um, to see if this mechanic will help any, because I believe if you use sla uh, staircases, it will actually kind of grow through, so there's probably a way you could even make this farm more efficient with using your shears, but honestly, it still grows one bone mill per uh, glow lichen. So you're not going to get any more efficiency with the that part. Let me put creative mode back on. Let me show you another reason why you might want to use glow lichen. Um, this is for your farms. It's really useful. Let me get some skeletons here. So you may have like a skeleton farm and traditionally you use like signs and to route them through. Uh, with water streams, but as you know, if, you, if you've if you done any farms, they can get sometimes hung up on the sign. So the glow lichen only puts out one light level, so it's only going to be for that one block. So it will not affect the light level for your farms, and if you place it right here, the water will not, uh, it will, the water won't flow past it. Unless, of course, you, you put it, say, right there then it will stay waterlogged but it won't that but that's only if you place the glow lichen after the water block is there so let's place some skeletons here see they go perfect around like corners bends you know you get some ice down there to make it flow a little faster and it comes right down into here and so you can see you can route you can route your skeletons you can route your mobs um, a lot easier using this instead of the signs so they don't get hung up on the signs and like I said the water the glow lichen will block the water from flowing past so you can even use this item streams for your farms 
but if you do place it here while the water the source block is already there then it will be I guess you could say waterlogged so those are some of the useful things to know about glow lichen now I'm going to show you how to build this I'll show you the materials that you're going to need uh, for my design you can either use just 33 um, building blocks or you can use um, what the way I build this design uh, like 20 bricks five I use five stairs and then of course I've got my eight logs and a couple of terracotta just for the design you will need one chest three dispensers uh, three hoppers three glass panes 21 redstone dust you'll need 10 glass blocks you'll need one pressure plate one comparator of course some glow lichen lots of bone mill and then you will need either either or I prefer using the target blocks and I'll show you but um, the three redstone repeaters you would have lining right up into the dispensers but you can get away with just using target blocks we put this back in survival mode to show you just how much glow lichen you can get pretty quick and how you're going to use this farm so you're gonna just come across here just going back and forth so I put the glass panes up so that way you're not getting the top where the source glow lichen is at so here it is in just like less than a minute let me show you just how much glow lichen that we got so we have the 37 right there in our own inventory the 20 there so almost two whole stacks in just less than a minute so it's really fast efficient um, like I said the way it grows it does grow one uh, glow lichen per bone meal um, that's just the rate so you're going to have to have a very good bone meal farm so hopefully uh, the skeleton or something else which I'll have a bone meal farm coming up here soon although the bone meal farm is just something that's part of the bigger build keep your eyes peeled I'm working on them so let's come out here with our chest right here and then you're gonna want to put your hoppers here and I'm building in I'm building in creative mode right now so and then what I do is I just take a couple of stairs here then we have two three four two three four and then we're going to have this cased off that should be one more set right there now we're going to come across with our staircases here oops that's not what we want okay so I said um, eight of these you actually only need six um, oh, I'm in survival that's right ouch okay there we go so I'm just gonna go back here to sa safely into survival so I can finish this tutorial um, so yeah, I was saying that you ne only needed one, two, uh, like eight of these, but I was looking at that wrong. So I put the, stair um, the stairs across right here, and then we need the glass panes. One, two, and three. And the glass panes will help keep you from getting the glow lichen across there. Now, we need to place the, we're going to place the temporary block right there. And we're going to place our dispensers. One, two, three. Then we need some glow lichen to get this thing started. So now let's go ahead and fill this up with the bone mill that we need. Okay, that is the bone mill that we need right there. All three are filled up. So now we need to wire this up. We need the 21 redstone dust. We need the comparator pressure plate, we need the glass blocks, and we need the tar the three target blocks. The three target blocks we're going to place right here. One, two, three. And then we're going to have one, two, three. 
come down below the chest and let's break these blocks out right here temporarily. So you're gonna need to dig this area out right here and then what you're gonna wanna do is place one redstone dust right here and put your little block here and the pressure plate will go right here. And then you'll have the comparator and then you'll have the redstone dust circling around right here with an output coming out like this. And that way, when you step on the pressure plate, as you can see, there we go. Make sure to press the button so that way we have the pulsing tick come out. And then you can cover this part back up. So you're gonna bring, once you bring your redstone dust signal out like this, let's place a block here, temporary there, and then we're going to staircase this up. So right here and right there. And then we can place our redstone dust going up here, 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 and then right across and it will, the target block will redirect the redstone signal into the target block and then powering the dispenser. And now when we stand on it, as you can see, it has activated and you need to get out of the way. Go. You're you're destroying my farm. Go. And then you can cover this back up right here. And of course you can run the redstone line however you want to be able to get that hidden. I imagine you can possibly even use the new shulker technology. I haven't messed with any of that yet, but this is. But as you have it, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Glow Lichen Farm. And as I've shown you, there's a few good reasons why you might want to have a few stacks of this um, kept on the side. Not just for decorative purposes. So this will give you quite a bit of Glow Lichen very fast and very efficient. And I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial build. And I hope you will continue to follow along as I have quite a few other builds in mind that I'm trying to work out. Thank you. You have a good day. Soon may the weathermen come to bring us sugar and tea and rum. One day when the tonguing is done, we'll take our leave and go.